Good morning. My report is entitled A Case of Staphylococcus aureus bacteremia. Urinary tract infections are commonly encountered by family physicians. Staphylococcus aureus accounts for only 0.5 to 6% of all positive urine cultures. Traditionally, physicians have tended to undertreat S. aureus bacteriuria due to its reputation as common contaminant. This might not be true, however, and delayed treatment could lead to development of staphylococcal bacteremia, which is a serious life-threatening illness. Paradoxically, S. aureus bacteriuria can be an early diagnostic indicator of pre-existing staphylococcal bacteremia, which creates a dilemma in both investigation and treatment. The following case describes a patient diagnosed with S. aureus bacteremia whose initial presentation was that of uncomplicated UTI. A 40-year-old man went to his family physician with a two-week history of dysuria, decreased urinary stream, and intermittent fever. His medical history included eczema and one episode of nephrolithiasis. He took no medication and had no history of UTI. Physical examination was unremarkable. Results of urinalysis were positive for blood, nitrites, and leukocytes. The patient was started on 500 mg of oral ciprofloxacin twice daily for 7 days. It is for a presumed diagnosis of prostatitis. The urine culture showed S. aureus sensitive for ciprofloxacin. After completing a course of antibiotics, the patient returned to his family physician still feeling unwell, although his urinary, urinary symptoms had resolved. He was still intermittently febrile and had developed chills, sweat, myalgia, and lightheadedness. He was referred to the emergency department for further investigation. Routine blood work and chest x-ray examination showed no abnormalities, but blood cultures were positive for S. aureus. The patient was admitted to the hospital and underwent investigation for complications associated with S. aureus bacteremia. The patient improved several days after beginning a course of intravenous cloxacillin. Post-treatment urine and blood culture results were negative. And that's my report. Thank you.